Next is the launch of commemorative stamp. This stamp is specially produced to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Indonesia-Bangladesh diplomatic relations. It consists of the official logo of the 50th anniversary and the animation or watercolor design of both countries, father of nation. We kindly ask Excellencies Ministers to show the framed stamps. Show the step. Thank you, Excellencies. Thank you. On the occasion of the commemoration, the Indonesian Embassy in Dhaka has initiated for the book Di Bawah Bendera Revolusi to be translated into Bengal and published in Bangladesh. The Embassy of the People's Republic of Bangladesh in Jakarta has also initiated the translation of the historic 7th March speech into Bahasa Indonesia. We kindly invite Excellencies to show the translated works. Excellencies kindly exchange the translated works. Thank you. The commemoration is now concluded. We will soon proceed with a joint press statement. Thank you. Your Excellency, colleagues from the media, Minister Momen, my brother, once again warmly welcome to Indonesia. Bangladesh is one of Indonesia's important economic partners in the South Asian region. This year, we celebrate 50th anniversary of diplomatic relation between Indonesia and Bangladesh. And I'm very pleased our relations have grown stronger throughout the years. Today, Minister Momen and I discuss ways to boost our cooperation. Let us start with trade. We are very pleased to see the encouraging trend in our trade relation. Our trade last year surpassed pre-pandemic figures reaching more than 3 billion US dollars. January and May this year, bilateral trade increased by more than 30%. To boost our trade volume, Indonesia and Bangladesh are working closely to conclude the negotiation on preferential trade agreement or PTA. We also agreed to expand our cooperation and strategic industries transportation sector, and halal industries. On investment, we are committed to bring closer our state-owned enterprises and private sectors. I also share the interest of Indonesian companies to sustain and expand their presence in Bangladesh. One of the companies, Pertamina Power Indonesia, is ready to support the power generation project in Bangladesh. With your support, Excellency, we hope to finalize the letter of intent for this cooperation soon. We also agreed to extend our cooperation in energy sector. On connectivity, we agreed to encourage closer contact among our businesses and our people. Colleagues from the media, during the meeting, we also discussed the importance of building our health resilience to anticipate future pandemics. In this regard, we are glad that the MOU on health cooperation has been agreed to and is ready to be signed. Through this MOU, we will enhance our cooperation in primary and secondary health care, health technology, vaccine, and pharmaceutical industries. Aside from economic cooperation, we also discussed approaches to strengthen defense and security cooperation. We agreed to expand cooperation between PT Pindad and the Bangladesh Army. We also welcome the finalization of MOU on defense cooperation 
and the Agreement on Counter-Terrorism Cooperation. These two MOUs are expected to be signed within this year. Colleagues, in addition to bilateral issue, we exchange views on several regional and global issues. On Afghanistan, we share the same position. We wish to see a peaceful, stable, and prosperous Afghanistan, and we understand the role of ulamas are crucial in ensuring progress in Afghanistan. In this context, I inform Minister Moman that Indonesia, Qatar, and Afghanistan has conducted a trilateral dialogue between ulamas to share experiences and views on the manifestation of Islamic values in a diverse society, as well as the importance of women participation in the society. Indonesia ulamas were also part of the OIC ulamas visit to Kabul last month. On Rohingya, we acknowledge that this long overdue issue still requires our utmost attention. With the ongoing crisis in Myanmar, we understand that the situation becomes even more challenging. Indonesia is committed to continue our assistance to Rohingya's people and to help the Myanmar people as well. So colleagues, thank you very much. And may I now invite Minister Moment to share his views. Minister, thank please. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. I had a lovely meeting with my counterpart, my sister. We have been meeting again and again in varieties of events and international forums. But I'm very lucky she invited me for a bilateral consultation, you know, ever since I became a minister. Thank you, Your Excellency. And uh, we are very happy with the hospitality of uh, Indonesia. This year we are observing the 50th anniversary of the diplomatic relationship between Bangladesh and Indonesia in order to, you know, enjoy a celebrate relationship. Right now we have done, you know, commemorating the seventh March speech that energized the Bengali nations for their independence. And it has been translated in, you know, Indonesian Bhasha. And we just exchanged that one. And also we had some stamps together for celebrating the 50th anniversary. And while we are celebrating the 50th anniversary, we are looking, looking forward more solid and strong, strong relationship between Indonesia and Bangladesh. We have a good relationship over the last 50 years, and we look forward much, much stronger relationship between Bangladesh and Indonesia. For the last 50 years, our economy has been doing well. In the recent years, our economy has been becoming, is becoming one of the model in the world. And while the economy is doing well, more and more opportunities are coming. There are a lot of potential for help improving both trade and investment between our two friendly countries. We share same values, same principles, and we have similar culture. So there is no reason not to have more strong relationship between Indonesia and Bangladesh. Now, our trade relations, as the minister has mentioned, during the last one year, it has, it has shoot up. And uh, she said 30% in the last few months. And last year, I think, as per my estimates, is our trade growth is around 50%. But yet, it is much low. We need to help improve it. And today, we discuss many issues that can help improve our two-way trade relationship. One way is we would like to look, look forward for a preferential trade agreement and hopefully that will boost our two-way trade. We also looked into uh, this uh, bilateral arrangement, expanding engagement in uh, agriculture, tourism, food, energy, health, halal trade, and uh, defense, ICT, connectivity, and fisheries. Bangladesh is the third largest uh, producer of uh, freshwater fish. We have a lot of expertise, and hopefully we can share our expert expertise with it. We are also pretty good in the IT sector. It is a trust sector. Within the last few years, our total volume of trade has shoot up in the area of ICT. 
and maybe we can share our expertise. In Bangladesh currently we have achieved good governments through use of this new technology, ICT technology, through use of the cellular system and uh, it, there, the beauty is uh, by using this we have, have improved and enrich our good governance many times. So we would like to share those with our friendly country and friendly people of uh, Indonesia. We discuss about the our petition, our candidacy for ASEAN sectoral dialogue partnership and Indonesia supports it. Hopefully we will get it because there is more scope for both ASEAN countries in addition Indonesia and Bangladesh because Bangladesh has become a hub for connectivity becoming a, it is a model of economic development. We have under 65 million people but next to us there are two large countries India and China and we have good relationship and connectivity with those neighbors. So any entry in our market means entry to a very large market. In addition, within our country, the purchasing capacity of people has shoot up. As a result, the market is, is very wide open. And we also discuss about one issue which is Rohingya. And uh, uh, my sister mentioned that Rohingyas are part of ASEAN as their home is in Myanmar. And we, she has been very active in meeting the humanitarian needs and, uh, and do justice to these displaced people of Myanmar. These displaced people of Myanmar, commonly known as Rohingya, they have been suffering. We have been provided there are 1.1 million Rohingya currently being temporarily sheltered in Bangladesh. We are providing all uh, help to them but they all want to go back to their country of origin, which is Myanmar. Myanmar is our neighbor. They are our friends. We have been supportive of Myanmar for years as our neighbor, and Myanmar agreed to take them back. Myanmar also agreed to provide safety and security, and also they agreed to create conducive environment for their safe and dignified return. Unfortunately, uh, none has gone over the last five years. So. We have requested Her Excellency uh, to take some proactive actions on this. And my reading is, if she, she's such a dynamic leader, if she takes some initiative, hopefully uh, we will have a very peaceful resolution, a peaceful and sustainable resolution of this outstanding issue. And that would be really good. Uh, we also uh, we offered some youth and, and culture exchange program. Uh, for ASEAN as well as for Indonesia. And we also discuss about a new issue, which is South-South cooperation. In recent years, after the COVID, uh, we managed both our country and Indonesia managed COVID pretty efficiently. We managed it very effectively, the COVID. But after the COVID, we see that when our countries needed little help, but unfortunately, a new war started. And uh, when the war started, uh, we both all the countries are suffering because there is a problem of food security, there is a problem of energy security. And unfortunately, uh, many decisions are taken without uh, consulting us. So it is time for us that we must strengthen our regional organization. We discussed one issue and that is that there are so many South-South countries, countries in the South, their economy, they have a lot of potential for helping each other. Uh, so we would propose, we propose to form a forum of uh, finance, uh, development, and foreign ministers of southern countries, uh, one forum, so that we can discuss dialogue and our critical issues, our strengths and our potentials, and we share our strengths with each of the southern countries for enriching our society. So this is an issue I discuss uh, with her and we'll go a long way in discussing as the many of the international areas are becoming more. We are Bangladesh is a leader in ending terrorism. Our Prime Minister declared zero tolerance to terrorism and radicalism. Resulted for the last many years there has, need, has not been a single incident, terrorist incident in Bangladesh and we will be a, a committee, I mean we will be uh, finishing one MU on 
terror. And we are a peace-loving country. We resolve most of our issues with our neighbors through dialogue and discussion, through peaceful means. And uh, we talked about regional and global issues, and especially about Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a brotherly country. We have been supportive of them, but we also want that they should help promote the women empowerment and also the democracy, representative government. And we are with them. We will help. We will support them. We wish them that they, you know, uh, they develop their, uh, they enrich their life and living in Afghanistan. Uh, we are working with them, and uh, and we will we will be happy to join the leadership of Indonesia in promoting, I mean, the issues of Afghanistan. Thank you very much. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangla Thank you. Thank you very much. Long live the friendship between Bangladesh and Indonesia. And I have a good relationship with my sister. Uh, I call her, you know, in Bangla term, Ratno means jewel. <laughs> Ratno means jewel. She is truly a jewel. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Terima kasih banyak, teman-teman.